In this video we're going to run through a tutorial on the TI-30X2S calculator. It's a pretty decent calculator and it's a quite early stage calculator so not a huge amount that you need to know. And by the end of this video you should be pretty proficient in using this calculator. We're just going to run through all the different things this calculator can do. So first thing people seem to need to know is how to turn it off. So second function and then the on button down there turns it off. A lot of people Google that so better just cover that. Um, you can do percentages on this calculator. So say you want to find 2% of 100, which unsurprisingly is, guess what, 2, two yeah. So 100 times 2, and if you do second function, and on this open bracket there's the percent equals, that gives us 2% of 100. The percentage key is quite useful if you're lazy, you can't be bothered to convert it to a decimal. Um, another thing people can't seem to find in this calculator is the square root. So let's get rid of this, and we do that by pressing the clear key. That wipes what's on the display here. So let's find the square root. So the square root is hiding down here. So we go second function, square root, then you can put in the square root and we close the bracket. You don't have to, but it's good practice. And that gives us three as we expect. And also work with scientific notation. Um, say you want to enter something in scientific notation. Say you've got 3,000. You do three. And then second function, this EE, lets you access scientific notation. So 3,000, that's E to the power of three. That gives us 3,000. And of course you can add, say you want two... Um, to the power, let's say, 4, so of course 23,000. So you can work with that. You can actually convert it into different modes, so it'll display it in different ways. So second function, and if it's scientific notation, and it's say engineering, this gives you this is 23 times 10 to the power 3, which is 23,000. So let's just put that back to floating. Right, now let's move on and look at fractions. This calculator is able to work with fractions, it's kind of useful. So say we want to add a half and a quarter, we do one, and this is AB over C, which gives us this little symbol here. So this is one divided by two, and then we're going to add, as we said, a quarter. So one quarter, and that is three over four. And you can actually convert this if you go second function, and then you've got this F to D button, press that, press equals, and we get 0 0.75. So it can display the numbers in both forms, and you can go back and forward. So if you put in a half, enter, and then do that, it'll give you that as a half. So 0 0.5 to a half, or a half to 0 0.5, get in whatever mode you like. Let's move on, um, just show you some things that are slightly hidden. Remember the square root, sillily put, hiding away here. Um, above you've got the square root at a different base um, or rather see what the cube root or the fourth root you would use this um, you've got squared here uh, you've got obviously your sine and cosine and your inverse access to the second function all these things that are written in sort of kind of purple are accessed with the second function button. Uh, again, stuff that's hidden away, you've got um, the factorial key, so say we want three factorial, just clear what's all there. Three, second function, uh, uh, no, um, the prob button. I'll show you that again. So, on the probability button, the prob button, you get the um, permutations, combinations, and factorial. So you press enter on that and you get a factorial. People struggle to find that, it's very well hidden. Probably one of the most useful functions you've got in the calculator is statistics. And this is what I've scribbled here. So you get into the statistics mode by pressing second function, then you get to stat, and then you can have one or two variable statistics. We'll just go to one variable, so enter. That now says stat here, telling us we're in statistics mode. All right, so let's enter some data. So press data key, and say we went 1, enter, down, frequency 1. So if we had 1 twice in our data set, we'd put that to 2. If we had 1 3 times, we'd put frequency at 3. Um, we'll just do 2, and then 3. So 1, 2, 3. Now that's us saved all our data. 
and then if we press stat var it tells us we've put in three data points the average is two standard deviation one and the other standard deviation 0.81 so that's the n and the n minus one definitions if we want to get out of standard deviation second function exit stat yes no so we want yes and that's us back to normal a few final things to mention you've got um, this constant function so you can use that if you want to multiply or add with constants it's kind of clumsy but some people like it um, also you've got the rectangular polar you can uh, convert complex numbers in a kind of inefficient and irritating way but it works and I've got a video that shows you how to do that maybe exponential the uh, hyperbolics so you can get hyperbolic sine hyperbolic cosine and so on um, those functions are there you can switch between mixed fraction say of 1.25 and you do second function fraction to decimal equals it can give you that as a mixed fraction so one and one quarter or if you press second function and then this button enter you get it as five over four of course you can convert between degrees radians and gradients like so and i think that's probably all the the key points on this calculator um, so hopefully this video has been helpful to you and finally thank you very much for watching.